Hi and welcome to your first Friday of the Eat Well for Life course with Be Well. I'm really glad to have you here and well done for getting through the first week. Sometimes getting started is such a big challenge and as I said in the first video it can be um, you feel that resistance and you feel that you just have to push through really um, and there's so many reasons and excuses that come to mind to not do something so really well done you for getting this far and there's still a lot of work and a whole journey to carry on with. Fridays are really important in consolidating your learning and engaging with the reflective worksheet that I've given you. That's going to give you a place to really look at at the end of this course and work out where you want to go from here because this is a journey a lot longer than eight weeks. You're starting on a journey for the rest of your life. So every Friday you'll be completing the reflective work that I'm sending you. You can absolutely send me the reflective worksheets if you want that extra layer of accountability and I'm really happy to read them through with you um, and that's great that's fine so this week what have we been focusing on well we've been focusing on the course content how the course structure is going to work and the practicalities of that so I'm hoping that you're feeling more familiar with the course now we've had a Wednesday night go live catch up and I'm really hoping that you'll be able to engage with them on a regular basis because I think giving something to the group contributing your learning and joining in that community with others will really help you as well as other people so please Please do make them a priority to attend. I understand you might not make all of them, but you do need to catch up on them if you haven't made them. And if you haven't done that already, do so please. Um, so in the week ahead, in terms of the practicalities, you've got a better idea now of your time commitment. So I really want you to make what's um, known as an intention statement around, at this time, I will. So what are you going to do in terms of your course content? Maybe on a Monday you need to make time for that, don't you? And then the rest of the week, your meditations. Is it a doable week for you? Is it a deeper or a deeper still week? Please reflect on that today and plan ahead so that you can really go through the week smoothly and know that life isn't going to get in the way as much as it would do if you hadn't planned at all. In terms of the course content, we've talked about the mind-body connection. You've looked at that more. You've done the body scan, either the five minute or the 10 minute. And just a note to say that if you are feeling a lot more familiar with mindfulness and meditative practices, Please do use your own app if you're on Headspace, Calm. I use Insight Timer because it's free with donations if you feel you want to make one. Um, but if the 5 minute or the 10 minute meditations weren't um, what you're used to and you're used to longer meditation, please do look up another body scan. It's a popular form of meditation, you will find it. However, I have to say if you're um, a beginner to meditation or even um, just still quite new to it, I would go with the ones I've chosen because the reason I've chosen them is they're nice, simple, um, very accessible body scans and others can be um, slightly more complicated. Okay. So we've learned how to notice that connection between our mind and body in a deeper way, maybe than we have in a while, and I'm hoping that you're realising and coming to that level of awareness. Um, if you're not, don't worry, don't make a harsh judgement about this. It isn't about a performance, it isn't about success or failure, it's all about learning. You've learnt a bit more if you weren't already familiar with what is mindfulness. And you've learned to be more compassionate, kind and curious towards the thoughts that do go through your head. Because heaven knows they will keep going on, won't they? Um, you'll be in your meditation and what's for tonight's dinner or what do you need to pack in the kids' bag for the day or who said what at that meeting at work will come through your mind. And that's okay. It's just about accepting that and moving on. So we don't have to be thinking in that all or nothing mentality and we're going to be talking more about the boom or bust of dieting in the week ahead and making some changes around our approach to our bodies now that we're a little bit more in tune with them and our approach to our healthy eating choices and it's not going to be based on diets, you, you've already picked up on that. You've completed a goal setting sheet and that's fantastic and you're more than welcome to share that with me. I'd love to see it if you want to, otherwise you really don't have to. 
and I'm hoping that you've put non-weight related goals in there but instead talked about how you want to feel and really dug into a very specific feeling that you want to have in your life at the end of this course. Um, what about the weekend? That's the question that I think you'll be thinking. So if she's sending stuff out on a Friday, does that mean I'm not on the course on a Saturday and Sunday? So this is about mindful eating, 24-7, 365. It's an approach to your life. So um, you are on this um, journey the whole time. So really think through your food choices. However, if you do eat something and you choose some chocolate or a cake or something like that this weekend, eat it mindfully and enjoy it and that's okay too. You might find, and what I found um, starting out with this, is that the things that I thought were gonna taste really delicious, actually when I slowed down, chewed them and really ate them and tasted them, they weren't that great actually. So that's an interesting thing you might come across if you do. The meditations and the mindfulness practices that you're using, they also carry on at the weekend. It's a daily practice to make the changes that you want to see in your life, not an option or every other day or something. Any questions, let me know. Again, well done for getting through your first week and eat well. Bye now.